Hey guys, I got a quick one for you. I'm going to show you how to set up two interfaces with AZO for all. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to set up the UMC22 with the UMC820 to get an extra two channels because I'm too cheap to buy the ADA8200. Alright, so let's jump over to Reaper and I will show you how to use the driver. Alright, so first off we're going to load up Chrome. We're going to go to azo4all.org and then go through the download list, pick whatever driver works in your language and country, go ahead and install that. Since I already did it, I'm going to skip that part. I'm assuming you already know how to do that. We'll load up Reaper. I have 10 channels right here, just for the example. The UMC8200 has 8, the UMC22 has 2 extra channels, so that'll prove to be 10. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your options, you're going to go to preferences, and it's going to come up with this right here. We're going to switch the driver from the UMC driver over to the ASIO for all. And then you're going to go over to ASIO configuration. It takes a second to load because it's got to load up both interfaces. It should come up right. Yep, there we go. Now, when you scroll up and down, you'll see that the first interface is right here. This is the UMC 1820. If you scroll down, you have the UMC 22, which will be under USB codec. You want to make sure that the power button for both interfaces is active. All the ones underneath in the tree are the separate channels. You're going to go through and make sure that all of those channels are activated that you need. See right now, you turn them off, turn them back on. We have one through eight and then the two eight at. And then channel 1 and 2 for the UMC22. Depending on your computer, you shouldn't have to mess with the latency or any of the sample rate or anything. You should have zero lag. If you do, adjust as needed. Once you're done with that, make sure to hit apply and OK. Alright, so once your driver is set up, you're going to want to go through and double check your inputs and your outputs. You want to go from... Make your output the very last channel on your USB. Make the output on the last channel on your secondary device also. Once you're done with that, hit OK. Now if you go to your inputs, you can see we have channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the two ADAT channels. And now our secondary interface is working. Alright guys, hope that helped. Um, feel free to hit me up in the comments if you need any help with setup. Feel free to hit me up on social media, pretty much all platforms, at Hindsight Media one If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Alright, thank you, bye.